So in this podcast, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Dune 2 or Dune 1 and uh, the importance of sound and why uh, Da Vinci 19 is such a game changer for people like you and me. You know, I, I was watching a lot of videos about um, them interviewing people from Dune 2, uh, including uh, Greg Fraser, who's the uh, cinematographer, and Hans Zimmer, who is the, the music guy, you know, right? the guy who, who made all the soundtracks. And um, one thing that was really, really like, like hit me, that like struck me, like, like all of them got together and said, uh, how do we start the movie? Like, how do we start the movie? And they all agreed to start it with, just with sound. I mean, there was no visual, they just started with sound of the Sadhaka, uh, the throat chanting thing which I thought was so, so interesting because, you know, um, not many movies decide to start with sound, but, but like they say, sound is 70% of what you see. And I think it was super important that, that they started out the movie correctly because, you know, when you, when you have that sound, uh, if you watch it in the theater, I did not watch it in the theater, by the way. If we watch it in the theater, we will notice, uh, this is my sound guy, by the way. So, you know, the fact that they decided to start the movie with just sound is so bold and courageous because you know i'm sure when they're sitting and having a meeting they're like listen we should start with this we should start with a space scene we should start with a dream scene we should start with all these kind of things but then they all said no that we are going to start with just the sadhaka sound and that sets the tone for the entire movie which is so so cool now in this podcast, I'm actually, you know, at, at the same time like I'm recording this is when Da Vinci released um, their software 19 Beta. And uh, it's such a big deal because if you really look at all the changes that they did, sound was such a big deal in this update. I mean, there's a game changer for, p for people like you and me. The way I see it, <coughs> my throat, <coughs> I'm doing throat singing. The way I see it is, the people who are sitting in Da Vinci and they, you know, are saying what, what's going to be our new updates and what are we working on, what people like. And, you know, they, they really take a feedback from the community, which is very awesome of them to do that. And of course, this is the same time, right? As this is going on, this is the same time that Dune 2 is coming up. The people in the engineering rooms or the people who are in Da Vinci, at least the Fairlight people, which is the sound people, basically said, listen, we all know Da Vinci started out as a color thing, right? Because when it first started out back in the day, it was not an editing software, it was purely for color. Then along the line, um, then along the line, um, Da Vinci people just said, listen, you know, it's kind of silly that people are flying in and now let's just, you know, add sound, add visual effects, add editing, add the cut page, the edit page. Actually, the edit page first, uh, first came and then the cut page came actually after, if I am correct. So, so the people in the sound was like saying, listen, we, we are very, we are a good editor. We we are very good in, uh, we are very good in the color. We are very good in the color, right? So now let us focus on sound. And this is the same time as Dune Two is coming. Out. Happy birthday, dear nephew. So, and they love Dune One. I'm sure of it because I, I'm. Listen, this is like a big deal. Like if you are going to be making a movie of that magnitude, if you're going to be making a movie of that scale, you know, sound is going to be such a big deal because you're trying to, you're, basically there are two movies going on. One is the visual and the other one is the sound. If you take the sound away from the visual, what you would get is really incredible visual, but you, it'll be very incomplete. So it's better that the combination of these two things were there. So the people in sound in uh, Da Vinci Resolve basically said, hey, listen, the future of cinema is going to be sound. So we have to really work on sound. And I think that's exactly what they did with the release of 19, is because uh, they, re they released this one feature, and this is the one I wanna really talk about. This is a total game changer for people like you and me. First, understand something. When you, when you record a song in a music studio, okay, uh, all the things that you hear, all the like the vocal is recorded separately. Uh, I used to I, I used to be a musician back in New York, and I know this is because I went into um, uh, into uh, chunking studios, which is a which is a really expensive studio, which 
a record label paid for our EP. And uh, I remember sitting into the mixing room and they said, listen, you have this mixing room, this whole setup for two weeks to, to compose your, your, um, your EP. And I remember sitting in the board, uh, sitting in the, the big, it's called the big board, right? And it had all these faders. And I, I had some knowledge of it, uh, like about the music and how it's done, but I did not realize this part. And they were explaining it to me. They said, listen, each, we are recording each component separately. We are recording it separately. Your vocal is separate. The guitar, separate. The rhythm guitar, separate. The drums, I think they had like 16 microphones covering the drum kit alone. And they controlled the sound. They used a lot of blankets and everything in the room to give the room reverb a little bit but also with the blankets where they muffled a little bit of the sound. But the, the micro, I remember there was like these two blankets and the microphone was pointing through the, through the blanket, but it was a shotgun microphone pointing towards, I think the snare and pointing towards the hi-hat. And, and I remember when they're doing all that stuff and I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? I, I didn't understand it. I really did not understand it. I knew that this is what they would do, but I didn't, with my own eyes, I've never seen that before. I've never seen it before. And that's what they did. And they recorded everything separately. And then they put the mix on the Pro Tools, which is what they use, was, uh, was the Pro Tools. So, so I had some, some idea about this stuff, right? I mean, I had some idea about it. So I said to myself, you know what? Uh, okay, I, I guess this is what it is. So, the, so now what happens is these are known as stems, right? Each, each track is recorded separately and then it's mixed together where some volumes are up, some volumes are down, some volumes are panning on the left side, some of them are panning on the right side. And all together it comes and it becomes the song that you and I actually hear, the final mix. Of course, mastering and all that stuff happens later on. So this entire thing that was now available, uh, it was available in, uh, in DaVinci Resolve under the Fairlight, the music tab. And then with 19, they took this thing up a notch. They really went up. And this is the exciting part. See, when you, when you download a song, the only way you can do in your mix is you can duck the sound. That means when you're talking, you can lower the sound, you can talk, and then you can bring back the sound. That is a normal thing which most of us will actually do and most of us know how to do it. But with DaVinci 19, okay, they did two things. One is they did this thing which is known as automatic ducking, where it will automatically do it using the AI thing. They are allowing you, they are allowing you to actually download a song and you decide, you decide if you want only the drums and bass or the vocals or you remove the vocals and just want only the music, you, you, can, you can actually decide this in Fairlight, which is such a game changer. Now, sound is a very big deal, okay? It's so important. If you look at any visual, if you're watching my video right now, you notice there's two things going on. One is the picture, that's what you see, and the other one is the sound, which is being recorded with my Rode mic right over here. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's, so it's two different things. It's the visual and it is the sound. So, so the people in Fairlight, what they did was they allowed you to now isolate every single thing. I'm not sure how much you can isolate because I, I have not downloaded, um, I have not downloaded a 19 onto my computer yet. I, I have not tested out myself, but from what I'm hearing from other YouTubers who are already covering uh, the 19 software, uh, they're saying that it is just mind-boggling. Like for example you can download a song and just simply cut off the vocals and have only the music in the background playing, which is so cool. Now, Epidemic Sound uh, is, a, is a music service that actually does this because what happened is uh, I, I actually, <coughs> all my music actually comes from Artlist. I subscribe to them. So Artlist is my, my go-to for music. And Artlist does not exactly have, um, uh, you know stems that means you can you can download the song and sometimes some songs they have it without the vocals That's about it. But my understanding in epidemic is um, Most of their songs if not all their songs have stems so that means when you are downloading the music from their service uh, You can say okay. I want to download only the bass. I want to download only the the, the string part or I want to download I mean they have they've have already split all these things up in their site and you can pick and choose which one you want to download but now with DaVinci 19 uh, you don't have to bother with that you can bring any song from anywhere 
and simply do that on the software. I think it's only available in the studio version. I, I could be wrong. Please write in my comments if I'm mistaken. I apologize in advance. So I was, I was like, you know, thinking that, wow, this single thing is actually going to be such a big deal, such a big deal for people like you and me, because, because see, now it's like, no, we are no longer making videos. We are now making mini movies. That is what we should be making. Uh, we should be approaching everything like a cinema person and not as a video person. Uh, nothing wrong if you're doing things as a video. I make vlogs all the time, and I'm 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 so you know I'm learning. If you look at all my videos, you can see I am learning little by little, step by step. I'm building myself up so that way at some point I might be able to make some really awesome uh, videos. But then along the line, what happened was I love movies just like you. And I was telling myself, uh, I'm, I'm approaching this whole thing very wrong. I should now be shooting a film. I should be shooting movies. And that's the reason why I bought the, the Blackmagic 4K, because that is a total cinema camera with cinema lens, seven artisans. And that is a perfect setup for me, for what I am using. Now that I have that setup, the next thing would be the sound. And now DaVinci 19. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it to come out uh, perfectly because I'm going to download it and I'm going to totally enjoy getting into the sound part because I think a combination of these two things together is just going to be magical.